This is MikeBot. Today I'm doing a quick little video on the micro SD cards for the Bamboo series printers. There was a question that popped up yesterday on Facebook. Uh, someone was asking why their one terabyte SD card isn't working on their Bamboo P1P. So the answer is fairly simple, but not straightforward. So basically, as you can see here, the bamboo printers are capable of two terabytes. That's a fairly large size for a micro SD and you'll be able to put thousands of prints on there. But there's a catch. It needs to be formatted in something called FAT32. So for those that are familiar with uh, storage and the different formats, uh, NTFS and extended FAT are what Windows uses right now. Um, FAT32 is something from the MS-DOS days. It's Windows doesn't use it anymore. It's a pain in the butt to format something with FAT32. If you have a Mac, um, it's called MS-DOS mode. So you format your micro SD card with MS-DOS mode, pretty straightforward, simple, you do it right on the Mac. With Linux, same thing, pretty straightforward, format it to FAT32, but with Windows, there's a bit of a learning curve. So basically, uh, I'm gonna put a micro SD card actually into my PC right now and show everyone what I'm talking about. So the Bamboo uh, P1P comes with, I believe it's a four gigabyte micro SD card complete garbage junk throw it out crush it get rid of that piece of junk it's no good you want to get yourself a pretty decent micro sd card to work with these printers so i just put the micro sd card in and as you can see it came with recorder models oh there's actually models on here and a logger and that's basically all on the micro sd card now if i go over to uh, the actual SD card. So as you can see, I have a lot of, oh, it's actually 32 gig. It's not bad. So if you go into uh, the properties, you can see it's formatted for you into FAT32. Um, now, if I want to go and format this card right now, going to be a little bit uh, more complicated to do. Sorry. So uh, with Windows, you can format FAT32, I think, up to 64 gigs. I could be mistaken. Let's figure that out right now. So apparently the max size is 4 gigs according to this. That doesn't sound right. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can do, I think, up to 32 gigs with Windows, which is still nothing. Now, if I have a bigger micro SD card, uh, let me go to this 128 gig one here. So this one's 32 gigs, you can do FAT32, but let's say the 128 gigs. I know I cannot do FAT32 on the 128 gig. So if we go to the uh, format option on the 128 gig, you can clearly see NTFS and extended FAT are the limit. You cannot do FAT32. So if you have 128 gig, 256, 512, one terabyte, you're kind of screwed unless you have a Mac or a Linux or if you have the solution that I'm going to show you. So what you want to do is you want to go and Google for Rufus. This is a free open source software. Go to the link rufus.ie and download this program. So you go ahead and hit download and the latest version is 4.1. So I've already downloaded it and I'm going to go ahead and open it now and show you uh, what this program looks like. So here is Rufus. So now with this, you can now format the FAT32 using Windows. So what you wanna basically do, you wanna select the, uh, the disk, so 128 gig. Uh, you don't really need it to be bootable, so click non-bootable. And then under the dropdown, you choose large FAT. And then you hit start and just like that you now have fat 32 on a larger sized micro sd card and i hope this helps everyone uh, some people aren't aware of this so that's why i wanted to make this video so give that a shot and let me know if you have a mac remember you get to do it under ms dos formatting i believe that's what they call it um and that's basically it so leave your comments below i'll try to help you out the best i can if you enjoyed this video hit that like button 
Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, I do all this stuff out of pocket. I am not sponsored. So by subscribing, it just motivates me to make more videos for you. Once again, thank you all for watching. Mike Bot out.